Have you ever heard of a plague that made people dance? Picture this, the year is 1518 in the city of Strasbourg, France. A plague like no other strikes. Not a plague of disease or famine, but one of dance. Yes, you heard it right, dance. A peculiar spectacle where hundreds of people were seized by an irresistible urge to dance. The frenzy continued for days on end, people swaying, hopping and leaping to no music, their faces etched with despair and exhaustion. Some danced until they dropped, quite literally succumbing to heart attacks, strokes or sheer exhaustion. This bizarre event has etched itself into history as the Dancing Plague of 1518, a mystery that remains unsolved till this day. With no known cause or explanation, it stands as a testament to the strange and unexplained phenomena from our past. Now let's delve into the depth of this peculiar event. Prepare yourself for a journey back to 16th century Strasbourg. In the heat of July 1518, a woman named Frau Trofea stepped into the streets of Strasbourg and began to dance. Imagine the scene, a lone figure swaying, spinning and leaping under the summer sun. There was no music, no festive occasion, just Frau Trofea dancing as if possessed. She danced for nearly a week. Yes, you heard that right, for six whole days and nights, she danced without rest. And her solitary performance wasn't to remain a solo act for long. By the end of that week, 34 others had joined her. Now, take a moment to picture this. 35 people in the heart of Strasbourg, all dancing uncontrollably, day and night, seemingly without reason or respite. And the numbers only escalated. By the end of the month, the dancing epidemic had spread like wildfire, with around 400 people being consumed by this bizarre compulsion. But this was no joyful jig or merry waltz. The afflicted danced with a wild frenzy and their numbers were growing. As the weeks passed, the dancing epidemic became a deadly plague. The streets of Strasbourg, once filled with the rhythmic tapping of feet, now echoed with the cries of the afflicted. At the height of this bizarre event, it is said that as many as 15 souls a day were being claimed, succumbing to heart attacks, strokes and sheer exhaustion from the relentless dancing. In a desperate bid to halt the spread of this inexplicable malady, authorities took a perplexing course of action. They constructed a stage and hired musicians, believing that more dancing would cure the afflicted. Yet, this only seemed to fan the flames of the dancing frenzy, leading to even more casualties. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the dancing stopped. The music faded and the dancers collapsed into exhausted heaps. The streets of Strasbourg fell silent once more, leaving behind a city scarred by one of history's most peculiar plagues. And so, what could have caused such a bizarre and deadly event? The Dancing Plague of 1518 has puzzled historians and scientists alike. Some propose it could have been mass hysteria triggered by high levels of psychological stress. Others suggest it might have been ergot poisoning, a hallucinogenic mold that can grow on rye. Yet another theory points to a religious cult engaging in ritualistic dance. But these theories, intriguing as they are, fall short. Mass hysteria, while powerful, doesn't usually lead to death. Ergot poisoning, on the other hand, can be fatal, but it also causes gangrene and there were no reports of such symptoms. As for the religious cult theory, well, it doesn't explain why the phenomenon was so widespread. Despite these theories, the dancing plague remains shrouded in mystery. Perhaps we'll never fully understand what drove the people of Strasbourg to dance themselves to death, but the dancing plague of 1518 remains a chilling reminder of the strange and unexplained corners of our history.